Former Cincinnati mayor and congressman Tom Lucan died today. He was 92 years old. Lucan spent 16 years in Washington, but even after leaving elected office, he was still a force guiding the next generation of leaders. I can't think of um, my political life in Cincinnati without thinking of Tom. I mean, he really was my mentor. Former Cincinnati Mayor Jerry Springer says his political life, like so many other Democrats, is tied to Tom Lucan. In November of 71, I won my first election to city council, and that election put the Democrats in the majority for the first time and made Tom Lucan mayor. So we became blood brothers from that day on and uh, in terms of politics. Current Mayor John Cranley says Tom Lucan took him under his wing, too. I went to many church festivals with Tom Lucan um, when I was running the first time. Uh, he went with me, and of course, no one knew who I was at the time, but they knew who he was. All those who knew him say Lucan was a force. It's, it's the old cliche that if you're going to go into a foxhole with somebody, you'd want to have Tom at your side. He was tough. He was rough, and he wasn't, you know, he, he wasn't afraid of fights. He wasn't um, necessarily the most genial guy from days to day. At a time where it wasn't politically popular, he marched at Selma. Uh, he put together the coalition with Ted Berry to create the first ever Democratic majority on city council. He passed an investment in public transportation that no one else has done since. And those who knew him say, even in retirement, Tom Lucan never stopped serving the public. Totally committed to public service never lost that interest. This guy lived and breathed public issues. Tom Lucan and his family's roots go deep into Cincinnati public life. It's the only family that anyone can remember to have three members serve as Cincinnati mayor. Our condolences go out to the Lucan family, especially his son Matt, who works with us here at Nine on Your Side. We're thinking of you.